Microsoft Outlook has stopped working. In this video, I am going to show you how you will resolve the Microsoft Outlook error which says Microsoft Outlook has stopped working. Normally it happens, if you do not close the Microsoft Outlook application properly, I mean if you forget to close the Microsoft Outlook gracefully before shutting down your PC, or, if your PC loses power and gets shut down forcefully. Being an IT person, I always share my personal experience with you guys. So as per my experience, I always resolve the above-mentioned Microsoft Outlook error by applying the following two methods in which 80% of the time, this error is being resolved by applying method 1. If method 1 doesn't work then I apply method 2. Again I would say that. Always apply method 1 before making any other changes, if you are getting the above mentioned error. Now we will proceed towards the practical section. And I will show you how you will apply these two methods step by step. So, without wasting any further time, let's begin. Method number 1. Open Microsoft Outlook in the safe mode. To open Microsoft Outlook in the safe mode, you need to open the run tool, so either type run in the search box, and the run tool will appear. Click to open it. Or, press and hold down the Windows key and then press the R key. The Run tool will open on the screen. Here you only have to type outlook.exe space slash safe then press the OK button. It will open the Microsoft Outlook in safe mode. If this message appears, then, in case of multiple profiles, choose the one, which you wanted to repair, click OK otherwise. After Microsoft Outlook is opened in the safe mode, Try to open some random emails, and make sure, that you can open the emails without any error. Secondly, click on the Send Receive button, so that Outlook will try to access the email server and download any new emails if any. If you are getting no error while navigating through emails, and even after pressing the Send Receive button, then it means there is no issue with your Microsoft Outlook or its database. Close the Microsoft Outlook and reopen it in the normal mode. This method worked for me in 80% of the cases with the same error and even with some other random errors which stops Microsoft Outlook from opening. That's it. Method number one is completed. If it does not work for you, then you may proceed to method number two. Method number two. Repair the PST or database file. If method number one doesn't work, then you may proceed to method number two. Note, I strongly recommend that you do not run any other application while applying this method. In this method what do we do? We will try to repair the PST or database file but there are some points that need to be keep in mind before proceeding towards this method. 1. You must know, where the PST file is saved on your PC, the default location of the PST file is in the documents folder. 2. There must be enough space in the drive, where the PST file is saved, because during this method a backup file will also be created before the repair process starts. The backup file will take the equal space as of the PST file. In simple words, let's suppose, the size of the PST file is 1GB then for this method, you must have the minimum 2GB space on that drive. Alternatively you can specify a separate drive to create a backup file on. Creating a backup file is very important and recommended as well, so let me show you how to apply this method. 
PST file is actually a database file where all your emails with attachments are saved. So to repair the PST file, Microsoft provides a tool called scanpst.exe. To access this tool, open my computer or this PC. Open C drive. Now check both the folders named Program Files and Program Files x86 for a folder named Microsoft Office, which is basically the installation directory of the Microsoft Office. Installation path depends on the operating system which you have installed on your PC. It might be 32 or 64 bit. I will open Program Files. Inside this folder I will look for Microsoft Office folder then open it. Open the folder named root. Open the folder named Office 16. Inside this folder you will have the scanned PST file. You can double click on this file and it will open. Alternatively, you can access this file by just opening my computer or this PC. Then open C drive and then go to the Microsoft Office folder wherever it resides. It may be in the program files or program files x86 folder. Now you can search for the scan tool by typing scan PST in the search box. After searching the scan PST file, open this file. Click on the browse button and select the PST file. After selecting the PST file click on the start button. The repair process will check the PST file for errors and it will take some time depending on the PST file size. I have a small PST file for demo purpose, so it will not take much time. After checking for errors, the next message will appear, which will ask to make a backup of the scanned file before repairing, so check the checkbox and click on the repair button. It is very important to note that. If there is not enough space for the backup file on the drive, where the original PST file is saved, then you need to choose the other drive to make a backup file on, by clicking on the Browse button and then selecting the other location. Click on the Repair button. Now, first a backup file will be created, and then we'll try to repair the PST file. It again will take some time to create a backup file, depending on the PST file size so wait for the process to complete. Upon completion of the repair process, you will be notified that the repair process has been completed. You can now open the Outlook file in the normal mode, and if it doesn't open properly, then once again follow the steps mentioned in method number 1. I hope this video will help you in resolving the mentioned error. If everything is working fine, after repairing the PST or database file, then you don't need the backup file anymore. So, now I will go to the folder where the backup file have been created. I will show you that. Both the original PST or database file and the backup file are about same in size. That is why I mentioned in this video that it is important to check for the enough space on the drive where the original PST file resides. 
Since we don't need this backup file anymore so I will delete the backup file to make space on the drive. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe my channel.